low performance issues, especially updating your computer to 23H2. Just check, just do a right click in the start icon. We will check it first and then just click on run and type when work like this and hit enter. So in this manner, you can check the version, which version of uh, OS you have installed. And if you see version 23H2, and your computer is running slow after that we're going to do some very easy steps to fix this problem and what you need to do is you just need to uh, run some commands which i'll mention in the description and we will be doing some scans which will be very good for the computer all right so it is very easy and everyone can follow it so here in the search icon type power You will find the best match PowerShell, Shell, and then you need to run as administrator. And it will ask you to say yes. So now you can paste, ensure that you see Windows System 32. And here I'll paste the command again and I'll hit enter. So it says yes to all. So I just have to type Y and hit enter. Like this. Once this is done, we will paste the different another the second command so here we'll just copy it like this and uh, just paste it right there and hit enter so this will take hardly two seconds to uh, finish and i'll just close it All right now the next command is also very easy peasy you just need to click on the search icon Type CMD and then run as administrator. And it will ask you to say yes. And here you need to type SFC space forward slash scan now. I'll mention this in the description as well. Once you have typed it, hit enter. Now it will begin the system scan, and this process might take five to two to five minutes max. In the meanwhile, you can enjoy. Uh, whatever you feel like, you can have a cup of coffee or you can play your favorite music. So once this is done, we need to restart the computer. And once your computer is turned on, at the top right, at the bottom right corner, where we have this icon, the down arrow key, and we need to click on this shield icon, which we call it Windows Security. I'll just do a double click on that. And here, you will find a lot of options and you need to click on this device security. So just do a double click on that. And here you will find core isolation. Core isolation helps keep your device safe and protecting the Windows kernel. So click on this core isolation details and click on that. Now here, memory integrity. So you can turn it on and it will ask you to say yes. So any which way, it's a very good thing to turn it on. And once you do it, you just need to restart the computer and the slow performance issues or any kind of performance issues, uh, especially after updating to 23H2 will be resolved. You can do let me know in the comment section and you can also watch the tutorial which will come up like how to make the PC faster. You can follow all those steps and I'm sure the computer performance will be just like a brand new computer. I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.